So I just clicked a button and I waited a couple seconds and here's what I got. 69.2% savings. And you go, savings of what? Well, it says the initial size of all my images was 10 megs and it's now three megs. Well, that's good news. Because here's the problem. We download high-res images, we get them from our cameras, we email them to each other, and they're all big, and yet what you need for the web is not nearly that big. So some of these images were crazy. Look at this. This is a beautiful photo called Pool Discussion, 4.6 megs. You know, that's just crazy. And then here's the other part. When we upload it, we also, because of our themes, have multiple different sizes. Right? The large size, the medium size, and if your theme has other specific sizes for placement on your web, you're, you could have five, six, eight different thumbnails automatically created. And a heavier initial image ultimately results in more heavy images across all those thumbnails. And so what I, when I pushed that button, what I did was I said, go to all my historical images on the site and optimize everything. I want to show you where that link that button I pushed where it is. If you go into plugins, installed plugins, you're gonna see it. It's called the bulk optimization link. And that link is the one you're gonna to wanna to push when you notice the compressed JPEG and PNG images plugin activated on your site. What am I talking about here? I'm talking about performance, speed for your website. Because what we know is that web pages have been getting heavier and heavier and slower and slower all because of images. And that problem with images is that we send them around, we pass them around, we put them on jump drives, all of this stuff way bigger than we need for the web. And so the net result is you upload really big images and then you display them on your web pages. And even if it fits the right size, it's super heavy and it makes your web page slow. And we know you want fast web pages. So to that end, we're building our own image compression solution. It's gonna take a few weeks and so I didn't want you to wait. So we've rolled in this plugin, Compressed JPEG and PNG Images, and the partnership with Tiny PNG. We've loaded in for you automatically. Now, the first set of images you get for free, the rest you start paying a very small amount per image, but you don't. You don't pay a thing, because I'm covering the cost, all of it. Liquid Web is covering that cost so that you can use this solution until we roll in our own. And we're gonna make sure that every image you upload going forward is taken care of, but if you wanna do the historical ones, or if you just migrated a site in and so it brought in a whole bunch of old images, you can click the bulk optimization link and it'll look just like this. And it'll give you a button, right? And when you click that button, it will start doing the very same thing I did. All because we want your web pages to load up fast and because we're taking care of image compression for you.